I can only imagine when a child dies, when an accident occurs, God forbid that one lose one child, two children, three, five, or they are all gone. But you know where they end up. You see their body to bury. Yes. But when a child or children are kidnapped, I can only imagine the state, the parents will, will be left in for the rest of their life. Imagine they are held. That child could be molesting. It could be Tom. It could be married out. It could be the worst horrible situation. Hoping that mommy will come, daddy will come, help will come somewhere. Every blessed day. With that imagination, both for the child and for the parents. Exactly 10 years ago, children was kidnapped in Nigeria. And yesterday again, Roughly 300 children be kidnapped. A minimum of five, three, seven is from one parent. Just like that. Where are we heading to? It's so heartbroken. Even if you're not a mother, you have never conceived in your life, you never had a miscarriage. How can I go on like this? A child up to seven. Just gone. Just like that. How can one? How can one be, be so killed and still he's living? What is wrong? Well. Oh, God. Is Nigeria see a country? Is see a land? That someone will be proud to say, I am a Nigerian. Is it possible for we to say that still? Such a bloody land that be so defied? God. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say because that land... If you say you are proud of being Nigeria, congratulations to you. It's not got a land that we should be proud of that we came from, that we come out from. It's just too bad. It's just too bad. It's just too bad. Every land gonna for body better. This one? No. No. No one is looking for the loss. Once again, just as they did the last 10 years, they will do everything possible to make sure they return. In four hours, it's gone. Before no wait, a week will be gone. My heart bleed. For these little ones, and for the parents, and for individual living in fear in Nigeria. My heart bleeds. My heart bleeds. For how long? How can someone be alive? So this will just happen. You, 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 you will regret being a Nigerian or being born. You will wish I wish we were never giving birth to. It has gone to that point. My heart goes for those that lost their children. And I pray for mercy for Nigeria. And I pray for grace for all of us to carry on. Even if we are not there, oh, we are so there. We are there. Because one Holy Spirit that is in us grief when something like this happens, this is terrible. I pray God have mercy. And to top it all, I will tell you tomorrow. Anything can happen tomorrow. Christ is the only way. So that 
when you leave this horrible land, no matter how you exit, that you will have eternal life. A place you will not be scared of bandits, Boko Haram, Bokboe, Bokboe, this and that, night workers, this and that, kidnappers, armed robbers, rapers. A place that no ant will bite you anymore. No mosquito will bite you anymore. The kingdom of God. Please, this is the right time for you to say, I can't afford to lose it in both sides. If this part of the world is not like this, I will do everything possible to make sure I inherit the life that comes after this. Repent and give your life to Christ because anything can happen in the next moment. The next moment, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Please secure your soul. Grab a guarantee in Christ and make sure your soul is safe at the end of the day. May God bless you if you are sitting here, hear the sound of my voice. May God strengthen those that are going through these trials. And I pray that by the mercy of God, that things will get better. Things will go soft. Things will go normal. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because your word said in situation, we should give you glory. It is well with us all. It is well.